and we've been rushed back to Washington to vote on a deal, all because Republicans wanted to push their luck and play games with the debt limit. Every time Republicans are in charge, they screw things up. The last time Republicans held a majority, we ended up with the longest government shutdown in United States history. Now, here we are today, this time dealing with a totally manufactured crisis that risks the full faith and credit of the United States. Both then and now, Democrats have had to be the adults in the room to come in and clean up their mess. Republicans are unfit to govern. They bullied their way to this moment. They didn't seem to be so bothered by the deficit when Trump was in office, when they added over $2 trillion to the debt for tax cuts for billionaires. They're only ever really worried about spending when a Democrat is in the White House. Or what about the military budget? Anyone see the piece on 60 Minutes a couple of weekends ago? A former Pentagon official went on and told the world about the price gouging that takes place at the Pentagon on a regular basis. He told us that the Pentagon overpays for almost everything. In one example, the Pentagon paid $10,000 for a $300 oil switch. If we continue, continue failing to invest in our people, what kind of country will be left for our military to defend 20, 40, or 60 years down the road? But we're hearing from the Republicans, don't look there. We can't find any savings from the bloated military budget. Really? And we can't make the richest corporations pay their fair share in order to get our fiscal house in order. We have some of the wealthiest corporations on the entire planet that pay little uh, to no taxes. They should at least pay the rate of what their lowest paying workers pay. Instead, we have to cut funding that helps the most vulnerable in our country. Give me a goddamn break. So putting aside all of that, Republicans think the way we should get our budgetary house in order is by going after vulnerable people. I don't know what the hell is wrong with them, but that is where this bill, this, what this bill is all about.